In this question, we have to figure out what percent is 150 out of 500. Now, a lot of people will resort to algebra here, but that is totally, totally unnecessary. There's a much easier reasoning-based approach to solve this kind of question, and we're going to explore that right now. All right, let's see if you can follow along with this reasoning. Four is what fraction of five? Well, it's literally four out of five or four fifths. Okay, four is what percent out of five? Well, percent is a kind of fraction, so we should be able to use the same approach and basically say four fifths or some variation of that. The problem is that this time we want the answer in percents. We asked four is what percent of five. So whatever our answer is, we're going to have to use the percent symbol at the end of it. So it would be four fifths and then the percent symbol at the end. The problem is that the percent symbol literally means divided by a hundred. You can't just divide something by a hundred without changing the value. Well, how do we mitigate that? What's the opposite of dividing by a hundred? Multiply by a hundred. So the answer would be four fifths percents, but stick a factor of 100 in there and you're good. And then you can reduce the numbers and you end up with 80%, which would be the correct answer for that question. Let's go back to the original question now. We're trying to figure out what percent is 150 out of 500. We'll start by pretending they asked what fraction is 150 out of 500. So that would literally be 150 divided by 500. Stick the percent symbol there at the end because they want the answer in percents and stick a factor of 100 in between. Now we can reduce the two zeros from the 500 with the two zeros from the 100 and we're left with 150 divided by five or 30%. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time. Bye.